Well, hello everyone and welcome to another MI Short here on the MI Gardener channel. Today we're going to be talking about a very common disease on the tomato plants that a lot of people have been mistaking for a nutrient deficiency. And I get this probably, I would say, once a week, if not more, about their tomato plants that simply stop growing, leaves get smaller, kind of curl a little bit. Um, and they have plants that are beautiful and healthy right next door. And if you can't tell already, this plant versus this plant, I have tomato curly top virus on this plant. Now don't worry, it's not going to spread because it's a virus. It's in this plant and it can't get to this plant without the help of an insect. And the reason why this plant here has the curly top virus is due to a pest called the leaf hopper. And the leaf hopper is something that doesn't just attack a whole ton of plants. They are very selective. No one really knows why they choose a certain plant, but basically as they're migrating, they'll land on these plants, they'll take a little bite, they won't eat a whole lot, and then all of a sudden you're going to notice very quickly, uh, within weeks, a couple weeks, that there's something very wrong with your plant. It's going to start kind of bumping up. The leaves will start bumping up, the growth will slow down, the leaves will begin to curl and go in funny directions, the flowers will uh, basically fall off, any fruit that's on there will ripen and taste like a normal tomato, but you will have uh, the end of your tomato plant very shortly because once that fruit ripens, nothing else will form. It will try to produce side shoots it will branch at weird locations, trying anything it can to outgrow the virus. However, once your plant has the curly top virus, it will simply just be there. It's not going to affect any other plants like we said, but it's going to basically just be there. It's going to survive off the, the leaves that are existent. It's not going to really put out any new growth. Um, if it does, it's going to be weird down by the stem there and it's not going to do anything. So the best thing to do is just to let the fruit ripen, take the, take the plant right out and just plant a new one because once you have it, there's no cure. You can't do anything. And a lot of people mistake it as a nutrient deficiency. They say, well, my leaves are curling or, oh, it's, it must be a nutrient deficiency. It's not growing. There is a very, there's a lot of different signs. Now, if your plant still has normal leaves but is just growing slow, might be a nutrient deficiency. If you have yellow leaves, might be a nutrient deficiency. But as you noticed, no yellow leaves. The leaves are not turning purple or yellow. It's flowering just fine. It has fruit just fine. So it's not calcium. It's not phosphorus. The plant is very green and very shiny. So it's you know, it's not magnesium and uh, it's overall just a very healthy plant, just curly, stopped growing. And that is what defines curly top virus. That is that checklist that you go through. So if you have any of those symptoms, there is a very, very plausible chance that your plant has curly top virus. Now again, I leave my plants in. Why? Because there's about a 95% chance your plant is dead, but what does that leave you? A 5% chance that the plant can come back. Oftentimes, um, the plant is toast, but on that very rare occasion, if you can cut back some of this stuff and push side growth, sometimes it'll push enough side growth to get a new plant growing and it will simply grow that new plant up and you have yourself a new tomato plant. So I always suggest leaving it. That's personally what I do. But anyone else that has the curly top virus simply just suggest pulling it out because let's put it this way, don't get your hopes up that it's going to come out of it. But I like to uh, leave my plant in, especially because here in Michigan, we don't have that long of a growing season. So it would defeat the purpose to replant anyways this late in the season. I wouldn't get anything. So I might as well leave it in. But if you're someone that lives down south or in Southern California or any place that you can really have a nice long growing season, pop this sucker out put a new plant in, don't worry about it. It's not in the soil. So if you take the plant out, you don't have to worry. You can plant a plant right in the same spot. 
it's not going to get a curly top virus. So there you go. Hopefully that answers some questions. Hopefully that helps. And hopefully um, you guys have good luck this year. I know that every year I usually get about one out of 10 plants that get it just because that's about the average. Um, you know, some years I, I get a really good crop of tomatoes and, and no, no, uh, no leaf hoppers land on them at all. And I have a great year, but the years that I get them, it's usually about one plant out of 10. So it's pretty good odds. And so I just make sure to plant more than more than one plant just in case that one plant is the one out of 10 to get it. So there you go. Until next episode, this is Emma Gardner reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye. Oh,